and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Cheers, Brad. Ah, there you go. Today we're going to talk about how to fall asleep fast. We've got 12 tricks to sleep all night like a baby. This is actually an updated video. We did it before. Now we're going to try to do a better job of it. Exactly, Bob. Yeah, this is going to be a, a primo video. And, you know, you got 12 tips. You may not use all of them, but there's use a combination yeah, of them. Yeah, choose from them. Exactly. Figure out which ones work for you because right. it's like a little experiment. By we, the way. We are all individuals, Bob. That's right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, pit, fit, and pain-free. <laughs> I started to do pain-free and fit at the same time. Also, if you want to go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. This week, we're giving away some of our merchandise. You get our ugly mugs on a mug. Or the strong leg bull one. Right, and yeah. we got shirts too and all that Well, all that of crap. course. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go to Bob and Brad on Facebook too. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. You want a short version of us, go to Twitter or Instagram. You get 60 seconds of Bob and Brad a day. That's about all you can put up with. Okay. All right, Brad, what are the... What are the best ones for you? Well, Bob, I, let's just start at the okay, top. Okay, we'll go start at the I'll top. I'll mention as we you go. You mention as we go which ones yeah. you like. And, and this is this is a pretty common one I think everyone may not do, but we'll probably agree this is to slow down and relax your breathing. Yeah. I and think that I, I think a lot of people don't know this one, Brad. Well, perhaps yeah. not. Perhaps not, but slow things down. Breathe in your nose. Exhale out your mouth, get a full, you know, fill up those lungs, and you're going to let, instead of holding that tummy in, you're going to do that diaphragmatic breathing where you relax and let your belly expand and breathe yeah, out. Yeah, I have way. found this to be very helpful if I'm worried about something. And yeah. it's just like I'm ruminating, yeah. it's going over and over. And, and the breathing just slows my sinking down and it slows my breathing down. Sure. And I like the four square where oh, you, yeah. you, know, you breathe in for four seconds. You breathe out for four seconds, then you hold for four seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, breathe in for four seconds, hold for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, and then hold for four more seconds. All right, so it makes the square. It makes the square. <laughs> and it, it, it really does help me, you know, I concentrate on the breathing instead of the problem. Sure. And you do it enough times and all of a sudden you find out you're sleeping, you know. So, <laughs> you so wake up in the morning. You wake up in the morning later. and go, oh, that worked. Uh, the other oh. one, and some of these you can combine. This is one uh, we use in, in our bedroom is white noise. Yes. Uh, and uh, we just have a fan going, but there's apps for your phone. Uh our grandkids has these little ones, and it just does a little uh, trickling of water. Probably makes them pee their pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they also have a little thing that goes up on the ceiling, and it shows stars and things moving around in it. Oh, it's a separate machine? No, it's all in the same machine. It does the oh. noise, plus a little, uh, you know, thing on the ceiling. Sure, it's it projects neat. a little thing yeah. on the ceiling. And, yeah, and, and you could have different projections, like stars. So or, this is probably more for like an infant or something like that? Or a, yeah, a, but I like it too. It's a, <laughs> yeah, they're, it's made for That's kids. I mean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Room now, temperature. Yeah. Now last night we had her up to 72 degrees in our house. That's I don't know why hot. we had it there. It's too hot. And I woke up in the morning and it's like, I was warm. I slept pretty good though, but I could tell it was too warm. Get it down to about 68 or 65 even. 65 was the agreed upon temperature. I just saw this, Brad. I yep. uh, saw the studies on this. And, and this is the one that was pretty universally accepted. You could go lower. Sure. Um, but um, it, it, it's not only going to help you get to sleep faster, but it's going to help you stay asleep. Sure. Um, if you're waking up... Um, like at four o'clock in the morning, it may be because your room's too t too right. hot. Or if I put um, my arm outside the pillows, then I got a I got a frozen arm. Right, but that's how you're <laughs> trying to dissipate the heat sure, from your body. Yeah. Right. Anyways, uh, or 18 degrees Celsius. If uh, for those people outside of the U.S., we still has that Fahrenheit thing here. Yeah. Proper pillow size. Uh, we can go through this briefly, Bob. Yeah. But if you're laying on your back. Uh, here, let's just show the, the improper. A lot of people may have a thick pillow or use two pillows, and look at his neck. It's up angle like this. It restricts your breathing, puts stress on your neck, on your spine. You should be down to one narrow pillow. Keep everything in alignment yep. here. Now my yep. spine is in a line. 
There you go. Turn on your side ones, Bob. Okay. This, if you're a side sleeper, then you actually want a thicker pillow because you want to fill in the gap that your yeah, shoulder right. creates. Otherwise, I'll be like this. Yep. So there, you may want to have another one. You can fold one pillow in half I if got that works. Yeah, we got to watch out. Yeah, we got to watch out with the mic here. Where's but my mic? Uh, make sure that you you have proper <laughs> pillow spaces for your neck alignment. Um, there you go. Uh, the next one, lay down again, Bob. Sure. What are we doing now? Can we go on this side, Brent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to do the pillow between the legs ones. Oh, okay. Yep. So I'm sleeping on my side. I actually have to do this because I'm ha I've been having some trouble with my hip as I've been yep. crying about for 20 videos now. And uh, if, if I don't, if I go like this, Look how the hip is being put on straight. Now, sure. this seems minor, but when you get old, this stuff matters. Yeah, this is more of a older person thing, but not always. Yeah, and it's also twisting my back a little mm -hmm. bit. So if you want to put your back in perfect alignment and the hip in perfect alignment, yeah. and even the knees feel a lot better, not clanking up against oh, each other, yes. you just put a pillow between the legs. Yeah. Now, I find a pillow during the winter is fine, yeah. but during the summer it's too warm, so I, I use a smaller one that sure. is designed for this. Okay. You buy them online. You got a, a knee pillow. I have a knee pillow. Wow. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Well, let's go on to the next one, Bob. All right. Oh, the lay on your back. Now, this, if, uh, if you happen to have some back issues, knee or hip yeah. pain, oftentimes... Uh, this is a leg wedge. You know, we don't like to have you go out and buy stuff, but we have not found anything to replicate this, and these are not that expensive. So, again, hip, knee, or uh, back issues, oftentimes people find this much more comfortable. Yeah, if you try to use pillows, it's just not enough. You know yeah. what I mean? You need, like, three pillows, and it just still doesn't feel like this does. This, the, it's kind of firm, but not hard. The angle here puts your pelvis in the right position in your knees. I know with my back, I got spondylolisthesis, and if I overdo it doing like outside doing yard work, and I know I did it, I'll sleep like this for about the first two hours, and I'm so relaxed, my back feels better, and then I'll usually kick it out on the floor. And, and I wish it was like a little that. longer though, Brad. Look at they do way. make longer ones, Bob. Do they? I saw that now, yeah, so they're oh. for the taller people. Finally, they discriminate against us. You I know, that, Bob. Don't you? Yes, yes, I, but never bothered me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go on to the next one, Bob. Number seven. Number seven. I like the number seven. Yeah, I know you do. Caffeine. Don't right. drink caffeine before you go to bed. You know, even well, a couple actually, hours before. Actually, it's from like uh, one o'clock on, Brad. Oh, really? I mean, it stays in your. You know, there's a half life of it, and it. it it's probably still affecting you, so really not in the afternoon at all. You have it to stop. It kind of depends on when you go to bed, though. It does. <laughs> it does. If you go at a normal time. Um, right. But I mean, so if you're right. like a nine, ten o'clock person, I, I would say, right? Yes. So, so, and then of course that goes along with alcohol too. You guess you shouldn't be drinking a beer or something before you. I think one is fine, but you drink too many, it you know <laughs> it's going to have that effect of you, yeah. you get to sleep, but you're not get into deep sleep. Right. And, uh, and so then you got to get up to go to the bathroom more right. and all those right. things. So, yeah, be reasonable with that. I think everyone can uh, have good judgment on that. Uh, the, this next one is something a lot of people probably aren't aware of. Sure. Is the contract relax mechanism or relaxing muscles. Yep. So if you take a muscle and you contract it as tight as you can for about six seconds. So we're tightening it without moving it, really. Right. Just isometric. Isometric, yeah. And then you relax it, the muscle will relax very effectively and efficiently. But so we're not just going to do the bicep or the neck. I just have people. They go all the way through the body. Yeah. yeah. Or like at the upper extremities too. I think you can sure. do whatever works as long as you don't cramp, you know, yeah. if you're one of those people. Yeah, but that you could start with your feet, you know, your calves, and then do the knees. A and section the quads. at a time. Yep, a section at a time. And it's just, it's again, that thing that is taking your mind off the thing that might be keeping you awake. Yep. It's giving you something else to focus on. It's relaxing everything, you know, the yep. entire body. Sure. And, and a lot of times you'll find out that. You know, maybe you were clenching one part of the body because you're upset about something. So without being aware Working of it. Working with that Brad Heineck. Yeah. Oh, that just gets me uh, well, upset. yes, my wife tells me about that too. But <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. But also, it, just the whole upper body thing. At once, see, it's a little quicker. Sure. And yep, relax. You know, I'm just picturing this now, though. Your wife laying next to you, and she's like all 
scrunched up like this tight, <laughs> and Brad's just sleeping. <laughs> She's nice. trying to relax after yeah, putting up right. with me for the day. Right. Well, weekends are all for tough on her. <laughs> yeah, a full weekend, yeah. <laughs> all right, we need to move on. Yeah. Number 10, uh, be still with the dark room. Dark room makes a big difference. Right. I mean, your body reacts to, uh, you know, creates melatonin. Mm -hmm. um, if it's during the, su during the sunlight, it's thinking it's supposed to wake up. Sure. And during the, when it's dark, it's supposed to, it's teaching your body to, you know, sleep. Right. Your circadian rhythms, you know, all that thing. So. Wait, you hit it up. Yeah. Every nail on the head there. The next one, uh, if you're an animal person having a cat or a dog in the bed with you or, you know, somewhere where you can do that. that that's very real. I know my wife, she's a real dog lover, and I'm not a dog hater. I, I like the dog there, but if it was me, I would uh, I'm going to say our cat, though, we, we don't have it anymore. But, I mean, when we had the cat, it would start meowing like that <laughs> before we got up. Yeah. So Well, that, 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 cat, that cat had issues. Yeah, that cat did have issues. But anyways, for a lot of people, that can be a real relaxing uh Thing for, for sleeping. some people. Yep, yep. For some people. And right. everyone knows. You know yeah, if you right, are or not. Right. Uh, this next one, I didn't know about this for until a couple of years ago. No blue light. Looking at a computer before you go to bed. Well, looking at your phone. Or yeah. your phone, yep. right? Yep. That that blue light is uh, does. What is it? It's you, the same thing. It does the same thing as sunlight. It makes you think that you're you're supposed to be waking up. Sure. And it could throw off your circadian rhythms and and and. Uh, it it really <laughs> it does not help you. I mean, it, yeah. it, if you especially if you do it every night, like an hour before, yeah, um, you, you, it could mess you up, and and you, and that's why you might be having trouble sleeping. Those circadian rhythms. Circadian, not circadian. Sarcadian. They kill me. All these C I R pop buzzword things that come up from year to year. So, <laughs> anyways, good luck with your sleeping. Yeah, sleep well. Uh, I'm sleep sure tight. you're gonna find some useful tips in here. All right, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.